Hi, welcome to the Explore Russian Confluent video training. Today is day two. I would like to show you how to explore Confluent space after we created a new Confluent account and also a new working space in the first video. Okay, let's get started. And this is project management space we already created in the first video. Today we will walk through this working space and see what do we have and then we try to understand what does it mean. Okay, so here on the top we have a menu navigation. It contains some of the functionality, the home page. It will help you to back to the home page of the confluent. Yeah. Recent page, recent option here, it will display some of the recent information and recent activities in the working space. Space here. The space it will list out all of the working space. You have thus interact it. You can also click on view on space here. It will direct you to the wiki space. Yeah. On this on this page it will list out all of the space in the confluent account. The next function here it will support you to manage the people in the confluent. You can start a team, add people to confluent, set people and team. Yeah. The next one is application. It will list now all of the application using together with Confluent in the working space. By default here, it will be support for Slack, Google Drive, Lucid Chat, and you can also find new application, manage application, and view app with application request. If you want to find a new application, you can click on the find new application hyperlink here. It will direct you to the disk cover application and integration for Confluent. Yeah, we have a lot of application here. You can tie in the keyword to search for application here to find the best application, which will be helpful for the team member. I will leave this one by default here because I don't want to install a new application at this time. We have the templates. On the top menu, we have a lot of templates. Love, sport, yeah. Because this templates will be targeting based on the personalization information. We only provide in the first video. You know that in the first video, when I create this space, I select the option is this cookie space will be supporting for the software development team and my role in this project I mean, my, my role in this space project manager. So it will be on that information to provide some of the template here for me. You can click on one by one here to see more detail on the right hand side. Lucy chat. Okay. So now I back to the home page and then uh, in the home page, I will have the space recent information, visited, work on draft, style, and an announcement on the right hand side. I will go ahead to click on the project management space. Go to more detail on the left hand side. This is the lab navigation. It will provide some the shortcut to go to some functionality for my working space. Blog space setting. When you click on the space setting, it will open up some information for my working space, a project management overview. It will have the space detail. Any space detail by click on the pencil icon and hyperlink here. You can change the name for the working space and also provide some of the description for the working space for better understand. And when we have some of the teammate, Adding in the working space, they take a look into the equation of the project. They will understand uh, how to use and what data in the working space will be provided for the team. We also have the status current mean uh, this working space still is inactive. Another option is achieve. That means we have no work 
and no activity on this uh, space anymore. So it would be achieved homepage, the page that display when you do navigate to this space. Okay, we also have the permission tab here. Uh, in the permission here, you are able to grant the permission for the team by seeing some of the information on the working space. Because for now, we are on the free plan, so we can not change the space permission. In order to change the permission, you have to upgrade the plan. Basically here, you just go ahead to add new people into this working space. And then we have a lot of the permission. For the page, we have a add new delete, achieve, block with also add new delete, comment, attachment, blah, blah here. We have a lot of the activity in this space. So you can set the permission one by one for any member in the project. Content tool. This content tool, it will display some of the templates. You can also do edit this template or also disable it. We have a lot of things. The configuration here will be effect into the templates on the top menu. Reorder pages, often pages, and if I pass, attachment charge, export, uh, add as feed, yeah, a lot of things. Look and feel, you can change another team for this working space. This is the default team. When you are create a new uh, working space, you can even change it to another look and feel. Header and footer, PDF layout. In this video today, we just run through this overview for exploring. We can come with this again in the next video for working more detail. Yeah, back to the home page. We have a create button. Click on this one. It will direct you to a new page for creation. Page title, setting page one, enter the content. This, okay, hello. What is this? Is the demo description? Uh, this bit, yeah, and then you click on publish on the top. Yeah, you see here we have a that page that thing page one has been created overview the page and under under list of the pages here we have that thing page one has been created and for the home page you see we have some functionality here in the edit. In the pencil icon, stop watching with the eye icon, share button, click on this one. And you can also copy the link here and share it to the team member. Three dot icon. It, it, it contains some more action. You can copy, move, import, achieve, delete, retention, page history, attachment, restore, advanced detail by see some the page information users. View storage format, import word documentation document, select notification. Yeah. We have a lot of the functionality here. We will be support for modify, import, move, delete, on and other thing for it test. And start this way. Yeah. Start this way. Start it. And when you unstart this one, it will be disappear. Oh uh, no. It's still here. Okay, back to the home page. Yeah. And you see for now the project management, it will be display the star icon. That means for now it is on star. Star this one. Refresh. Yeah. Come back to the home page. And you can click on the pencil icon here to edit the content. It will open the detail page. This page will be built for based on some of the components. The home with some of the tool tip, emis, and other components for the goal, car team, quick navigation, if fooling. Yeah, scroll it down. And it contains some block. You can change the layout for each column. By default, it will be content right sider. Bar, yeah. 
m j d to three yeah three column two column yeah three column with sidebar okay three column change the message here this is by a gnv for training the pub okay publish to update the new chain you can see for now the the tooltip have been added with my new tag here the layout of the below will be also changed it from the two column to three column already okay we have a set function here you can search some of the messages by on the searching keyword the notification icon on the top hand side it will contain the list of notification in the all of the working space the question mark it will support you for some of the helping online legal information and other things the setting this setting if you have a site administration you can see a lot of the setting here for some of the user management billing configuration for the website further configuration like so link, a lot of things here okay cool and of course this is the avatar and also contain some of the other personal information and a personal space profile task settings like yeah and look out to exit this confluent okay so i think that's all for today and after if you need this video you and me already run through some of the basic information of the confluent we also know some of the basic stuff on editing the content on the page change the layout for some of the section and then of course after we update anything in the working space like the update content on page delete some uh delete something on the page you have to do some of the publish in order to make a new change on the basis okay i hope this video will have fun for you thank you for watching bye bye see you guys in the next video